Okay, quick uh, update on what I've been uh, working on the last couple of weeks on and off. Uh, this is an Android application for displaying the uh, uh, Stratix ADSB uh, traffic, weather, and uh, AHARS information. Uh, I haven't in implemented the uh, the weather yet. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, given the nature of the display, the the weather will just be textual. If you want graphical weather, you know you can display it on apps that already exist. Uh, the the biggest reason uh, for doing this was uh, I wanted to kind of be able to display the uh, the traffic uh, separately from uh, my uh, tablet that I'm also using in the cockpit and Garmin Pilot. Uh, doesn't support the the Stratix, uh, which may be an argument for uh, uh, for switching to something else down the road, but uh, that's a separate conversation. Anyway, uh, you can see it's kind of a work in progress. Most of the uh, uh, display works very well. Uh, there there's some font scaling issues. You know, you can see the altitude and speed tapes on this large screen aren't quite right, and the uh, the the heading font is a little too big on, on this one. So I, I need to work out some. Uh, some scaling issues, but as far as displaying the actual, uh, you know, attitude of the aircraft, the uh, roll and uh, pitch, I I'm just uh, moving the the uh, receiver by hand just to show you, uh, are very accurate. The uh, the pitch looks uh, very exaggerated because the screens are so long, but uh, uh, they're accurate as far as uh, your uh, uh, your angle. Okay, over here is showing the uh, GPS position. Uh, obviously those are uh, uh, fake numbers that I, I just put in uh, for the video. Over here uh, is all the uh, planes that it can currently see. That Those are the tail numbers. Some of them uh, have ADS-B and some don't. You can see the ones that do have their ADS-B position. Uh, it's displaying their uh, bearing and distance from your current position on the uh, heading indicator and the uh, outside edge of that uh, indicator is uh, calibrated to be uh, uh, 20 nautical miles uh, so uh, you know there's a lot more uh, uh, planes that it can see because it can see all their transponders but only a few of them have uh, ADS-B so that's why there's way more displayed over here than, than actually on the uh, uh, on the heading indicator. This color scale uh, is just arbitrary. I'll probably work out something a little more uh, standardized later on, but it's basically showing the uh, the rough altitude uh, of uh, of these dots. So you can see all those cyan ones. Uh, cyan is uh, anything over uh, thirty thousand feet. So you know those are uh, that's big stuff that's flying over uh, <coughs> over top of me in the uh, in the flight levels. The uh, pitch and uh, roll. I uh, tested in the plane yesterday and were very very close. Uh, I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to the uh, uh, the slip indicator uh, on the top here, but it was reasonably close. I wouldn't. Uh, I can't say for for sure how close it was because I wasn't uh, paying as much attention to that. Uh, uh, the uh, the heading I actually had to test in the uh, the car because it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't displaying correctly in the the plane, but I've I've got that figured out. The on the very side here, uh, and this is kind of modeled after uh, roughly, sort of, kind of, <laughs> uh, after a, a Garmin uh, G300 display. Of course, uh, it, it's missing some of its information, and it has other things like you know the ADS-B indications. Uh, but you know it doesn't have a uh, you know a ground separate ground speed and uh, uh, air speed because there is no pedostatic system on the uh, Stratix to read so there's no point in, in you know having a fake number because they'd both be exactly the same so so down here uh, is where most of the uh, user interface stuff will be added uh, right now the only real feature is being able to turn the traffic on and off uh, and to exit the application but uh, you know eventually I'm going to put some sat status indicators and stuff down there and uh, uh, other stuff, you know, settings, you know, uh, units that you want to display and stuff like that. So uh, uh, one other thing that I've added on here is if you uh, tap on the uh, heading indicator, uh, you can add a, a bug. So if you want a heading bug, tap heading, and then uh, say you want a heading of 230, 230 set, and uh, you've got your heading bug at 230. Uh, and likewise, there's also a, a wind bug. Uh, say I want the wind at 150. 
whoops, one five zero set. And now the wind bug is one five zero. Uh, and I found that handy on the uh, on the G300 that was in the, the plane that I trained in. Uh, I kind of wish my uh, current heading indicator had some sort of bug on it, but it doesn't. So down here is the uh, G-force indicator. And uh, this scaling probably isn't accurate because I'm really yanking this thing hard. And it's, and it's barely moving, so it probably needs a... Uh, I need to look at the numbers and, and see what the calibration is. It does work, it's just not, uh, it's, it's probably not scaling correctly because really yanking that thing should be uh, showing more uh, G-force indication than it is. <coughs> um, I think that's a, a, about it. Uh, like I said, it's a, a work in progress, so you know it'll probably be uh, another month before it's it's really ready. And of course, it needs a lot of testing. But uh, eventually, you know, I'll put it on GitHub or something and uh, and make it available for whoever's interested. Okay, thanks for watching.